Almost done, okay. Almost done, let's go. Come on, that's it. I'm Ronald Abdiji, your health and fitness expert. Today we're focusing on the upper body. Now you'll notice that there's not a lot of gym equipment around us. We're not in a gym. We're doing something known as functional body training. And for me, my philosophy is very simple. Your body is your gym. Now as you can see, Kayla's wearing the upper body outfit, but we're about to fill that outfit with the following exercises. The first exercise is known as the wall push-up. Many people don't have enough strength in the upper body to do a proper push-up. By doing an elevated wall push-up, you begin to build strength in, and as we go through, we'll add in more difficulties of this variation. So, hands wider than shoulder width apart, feet go back, and you'll notice something, right? And Kenneth's got to keep his back straight. He's going to drop his chin down and bend his elbows at 90 degrees. Go for it, and push it up. Now, this exercise you do 20 repetitions of. It's focusing on the shoulders, the chest, and the triceps. So although I recommend a 20, if you can only do 5 or 10, that's okay. The next time you do this workout, add one more or two more, so you keep on building strength. Your body's amazing, it will get stronger if you are consistent with exercise. So with that variation, you're now going to work the triceps. You're doing something called the diamond French press. So you're going to be forming a diamond with your hand, feet go back, and you're going to bend the elbows down, halfway and push up. This exercise focuses directly on the tricep. You're doing 20 repetitions. Now the tricep muscles, I'm doing it immediately after the chest because the chest and the triceps work together. So, and this will give you wonderful results, especially if you have those flabby arms. This will allow you to tighten that area. Keep going, young fella. That's 19. it. Go, go, bend the elbows. 20. <laughs> he can't count, but it's okay. Go we'll get there. <laughs> Next one. The only piece of equipment we have is something known as a resistance tube with handles. So with this, it offers you additional resistance onto particular body areas. So grab it in each hand. Place your foot in the middle, hands to your side, back upright. And I want you to just raise the hands to the side, keeping your elbows straight. See, this exercise is known as the shoulder raise. Okay, now you'll notice some Kayla's kind of double jointed in the elbows. <laughs> so I want you to bend it slightly for me. Now raise, and raise it up there. There you go. You'll notice this works the entire shoulder area. So when you're wearing the tank tops, when you're wearing the vests, you really want to have a shapely shoulder. Okay, I'm Kayla, raise it up, my friend. <laughs> Keep it going, there you go. 20 repetitions of this exercise. It's not easy, but it does work. Oh. Go, 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 three more. Two more. I said, almost <laughs> there. <laughs> Good, relax it down. Now stay there, both feet step onto the resistance tubing, grab it in each hand. Now of course we have to work the guns, the muscles, the biceps. So with this exercise, we're now doing the angled bicep curl. So from there, angle it up and drop it down. There you go. This exercise you're doing 30 repetitions of. It really focuses directly on the bicep. And we do it last because all the other exercises were bigger muscle group exercises, allowing you to warm up the small muscle group when I can actually see a little bicep forming. So it does work. 30 repetitions, go for it. Good, keep it going, keep it going. Good, <laughs> relax it down. Uh, yes. That smile says, yeah, I did it. Can you do it? Your body is your first wealth. You need to look after it. It's your asset. If you keep on drinking and eating unhealthy and get a lot of fat all over your body, whose fault is that? It's not mine. We are here to help you, motivate, and guide you to a fitter, stronger, and healthier you.